And the last major thing I did was actually Frozen with Rosemary three years ago. That was the last thing that I did. Um, so yeah, before then, a um, mixture of mostly touring, really, so living out of a suitcase and discovering the slightly surreal world of travel lodges. The opportunity to work with Rosemary again, um, for a start, as I say, I worked with her on Frozen, and that was a very, very intense, challenging piece. Um, so I, I had a great experience with that. Um, the opportunity that it was local, the fact that being a new mum and having this desperate need inside to try and do something creative, spent a long time talking with the rest of my family, husband and everything, like, you know, can I do this? I even phoned up Rosemary and said, look, I don't want to waste your time. I'd love to be involved, I'd love to be able to do it, um, but tell me no straight away because I don't want to waste your time either in audition or something if I can't make it work. So I got very excited and said, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the audition and I'm not going to think about anything else afterwards. It was brilliant. It just felt like, oh, such a big part of my life that I haven't been able to feel that I've been able to do. And you kind of put things on hold, and it's all fine. You put things on hold, but there's something inside you that just says, God, I need to do this, I need to do something. And this has just been a joy, absolute joy. I love my character. I think she's brilliant. I love her sense of humour. Very, very dry, very, very witty. Um, I really do. I love the, her turn of phrases. I love her sort of quirky view on life and the way in which she views things. And I also really like her capacity to love, although my character, um, on the surface of it, seems to reject certain notions of, of love and commitment. Um, within her, she has a great boundless energy, I feel, to love. I, I remember, because we had the rehearsal schedule, and I'm thinking, okay, right, I, I, I know I've got to focus, I've got to get as many of these lines down as possible. Right, we're only meant to be doing these scenes. And on the very first day, we went through the whole play, and I think it got to a point where all of us as cast were a little bit stunned, and oh, we're, we're carrying on, we're doing, we're doing more. And this bit, I don't know, I've read this bit, I don't know, okay, let's just go with it. I think it fosters a sense of community and the fact that the arts are everywhere, not just in London, Manchester, Birmingham. So to be able to work locally means that you can draw on all of these um, actors and characters, all people with different skills, and it's, it's like one big sort of extended family. And to be local, it it provides that opportunity. So rather getting from strangers from all over the country and you're there for five weeks and then you all just disappear. Being able to get to know people and having that that sense um, of unity and continuity, where you can you can foster off someone, you get a really good working relationship with people that you're able to work with again and be in the surrounding area with. It's got sex. It's got violence. It's got love. You know, come and see it.